Greetings and welcome to part six of the trumpet series using essential elements for band. Uh, this part is going to go over the purple belt, which would be in essential elements numbers 90 to 106, pages 18 through 21. All right, so we'll get right into it. The first song, number 90, we're going to go over. That is the first purple belt song. Yay! It says variations on a familiar theme. A variation is you take a song you know, a theme that you know, and then you mess around with it. Let's see if you can figure out what the theme is. That is the familiar theme, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now I notice it says Variation 1 and Variation 2, so they're going to take Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and they're going to mess around with it. So it's still going to sound twinkle-ish, but a little bit different. Here's the whole song. Main thing I'm looking for with this one on the variations especially is those eighth notes. Ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta. What we don't want, what a lot of kids do, is they'll just play the notes without any regard for how long to play them. They'll go. Which doesn't sound like twinkle twinkle little star. So just make sure you're keeping um Keeping, you know, looking at what you're doing for those quarter notes and eighth notes. <clears throat> We're also going to look at number 91. That's the Banana Boat song. This one in the orange box above it, it says DC Alfine. Uh, basically, DC stands for da capo. And in Italian, that means the head or to the beginning. So for uh, the Alfine, it means to the end. So the DC means go back to the beginning. And then Alfine, stop at the fine, which in Italian would mean the finish or the end. So play beginning to end, then go back to the beginning, and then end where it says fine. It looks like fine. Okay? Beginning to end, back to the beginning, end at fine. <laughs> That's 91 Banana Boat Song. Look at page 19. Uh, at the first orange box, it says sharp. We talked a little bit about it in former videos about sharp, natural, and flat. They change how a note sounds. This says a sharp raises the pitch of a note by a half step. The note F sharp sounds a half step above F, and that's uh, and then all Fs become F sharps for the rest of the measure where they occur. Okay, so what that means is 92, new note, F sharp. Instead of F, you play middle valve. F natural. F natural is the same as F. Natural is just another way of saying regular or nothing on it. F sharp is just a little higher. Okay, so that's your F sharp. Um, here's 92. Also using F sharps. Now remember when we had the flat with the B, remember how we had talked about when you have a, a flat sign on a note, it carries through the whole measure. So if you have it on the first B, if there are any more Bs in that measure, just in that measure, all the rest of them are going to be flat as well. Well in 93, we have F sharp, F sharp, D, and there's an F with no sharp sign on it. But because the F, there's already an F in that measure with a sharp sign, that one's F sharp too. So it'll be F sharp, F sharp, D, F sharp, G, 
E A G E D F sharp F sharp D F sharp G G E A A G F sharp E D Look at 95 and 96. Right above those, you see another orange box that says slur, a curved line which connects notes of different pitches. It's tongue only the first note in a slur. We had a tie back number 59 in the book where you took two notes and you combined them into one. It's very similar except you're moving your valves too. Okay? So 95, the first two notes you have are G and F. Normally you would play those. <laughs> separate them with your tongue. With the slur, you're going to tongue the first one, but you're just going to keep the air moving while you finger for the second one. So the only difference is that I keep the air going, I don't tongue the second note. So here's 95. to shorten the second note. A lot of kids, because they know they need to tongue the first note of the slur, they'll play this. Still make sure all the notes have their correct uh, length to them. 96, you're slurring four notes at a time. On the next page, page 20, I must spend half this video turning this page. There we go. Page 20, number 99, you have B. We've had B flat, first finger. We've had low B, second finger. This is high B, second finger, or B natural. So your F sharp, your F sharp is the same finger, right? And low B. High B is higher. Remember that every good boy deserves five. That's where we get the B from. All right. So this one is going to have B naturals in it. And that's it. Let's play it for you. One hundred talks about phrasing. We talked about this also in an earlier video. It said phrasing is like a musical sentence, usually two to four measures long. It's a musical idea, something you play in one breath, because once again, we don't want to breathe in the middle of a phrase when you're talking. Same thing with music. If you play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, It just doesn't sound right, but if you phrase it, you can see there's kind of there's there's um, some really obvious places where you would want to breathe. It just sounds right too. If it sounds right, probably is right. Here's number 100, the cold wind. It has that little breath mark in between the two measure phrases because those are the places you want to breathe. You're going to take, again, those big diving breaths off so that you have a lot of air to get through these. An extra credit if you get that soft piano into the crescendo to the mezzo forte and then the day crescendo to the piano back to soft. Look at 102. 102 is the next Purple Belt song. So we've had 90 is purple, now 102 for purple. Called Satin Latin. Please don't call it Satin Latin. It's Satin Latin. Like the fabric. Very smooth. Uh, and jazzy. This is Satin Latin. Uh, above it in the orange box it says the new key signature. This key signature indicates the key of G. Play all the F's as F sharp. So you notice that you have a sharp sign. Looks like a hashtag. Hashtag 
sharp side. Uh, you notice that you have one of those on the top line, right? Every good boy deserves fudge. F. So that means all your Fs, whether it's low F or high F, just means all your Fs are going to be sharp. So in 102, uh, also notice that there are no flat signs. You usually aren't going to um, combine sharps and flats much. So you have uh, B naturals in this one. So middle finger B, middle finger F sharp. Okay, all, there are no first finger Fs, there are no first finger Bs. Another thing to be aware of is the multiple, multiple, the multiple measure rests. If you look also in the orange box, the number above the staffs tells you how many measures to rest. So our time signature in Satin Latin is 4-4, four, four, which means there's four beats in every measure. So the multi-measure rest on here, you, there's a two over it. It means you're going to count to four two times. One, two, three, four, two, two, three. Four. That's how I like to count, because eventually you're going to have music, and you might have five measures rest. So you go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, and play. All right? It have, if you substitute the first number for the number rest you're on, it helps you to keep track. Okay, all right, so we're going to play number 102, Satin Latin. You're going to need a lot of air for this one. Notice they have that phrasing about every one, two, three and a half bars or so, you're going to get that chance to breath. And you have an F sharp, you're going to have to hold for eight beats because they tie two whole notes together. page 21, at the top in the orange box is as a natural sign. A natural sign cancels out a flat or a sharp and remains in effect for the entire measure. So it's another symbol like a flat or sharp that stays in effect for the whole measure whenever you see it. It means play a regular, okay? So you, if you have a B flat and all of a sudden you have a natural sign, you play B natural. If you have an F sharp and it has a natural sign, all of a sudden you're going to play F, okay? That's what, that's what that means. Um, so 105, we have an F sharp in the key signature, so all your Fs are going to be middle valve. But in the third measure, you notice that there's a natural sign on the F. Naturals and sharps look kind of similar, except a sharp sign is like a full tic-tac-toe board, and a natural has two big spikes going on on either side. So in that third measure, you play F natural, and in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th measure, after the breath mark, another F natural. And then in the sixth measure, you have an F natural. They have to put that because they want an F natural, and the key signature has an F sharp. Then you go back to F sharp, middle finger. So if they didn't put that on, you have to stay on F natural. And then a G. Woo! Goes G, F sharp, G, D, D, E, F natural, E, D, F, E, D, E, F, F sharp, G. <laughs> Now the last one in the Purple Belt series <clears throat> is 106 March Militaire. The key signature, if you look at it, has nothing in it. So all your Fs are natural, unless they tell you otherwise, which is going to become important. You have two four times, so there's two beats in every measure. And I'll tell you right away, the thing that uh, when people play this that they, they miss the most is they play everything the same. You've got to be very vigilant to make sure that your eighth notes are short and your quarter notes are long. So looking at the first two measures, it goes C, G, F sharp, here's the F sharp, G, C, G, F sharp, G, C, G, C, E, G, G, F, regular F. Okay, only the first two measures have F sharp in it. Now, they put a natural sign in parentheses, okay, right there on the one, two, three, four, fifth measure. The reason they do that, they call that a courtesy, because if you start a song and all you have is F sharp, even though the key signature is F natural, then the composer will often put what they call courtesy accidental in parentheses, just to remind you, hey, 
it's really supposed to be F natural. Don't get confused. So from that point on, all your Fs are, are F natural. They didn't have to put that in there. They're just being nice to you. Okay? But here's March Militaire. <laughs> Two of the more difficult ones, I think, to this point in the book. But with practice, you will do fantastic. Uh, have a good day. Thank you.